Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the GSL Team League. I am Moltrap. With me here is Kaldor, and with this is our interviewer. She's going to be interviewing our couple coaches here midway through. There's Troy on the left, and so there's Jessica on the right. Yes, Troy is probably pretty... Disappointed? Well, not really disappointed, but a little bit sad about uh, the first game as Lucky was not able to beat Puzzle. Jessica, on the other hand, she has every reason to be happy about it. Nice start to today's team match. Alright, so she's asking about how she feels being the first female coach in StarCraft 2. Uh, she says that the individual league is more popular these days, and she hopes the team league gets more popularity, and that more female players appear in the StarCraft 2 scene. They're asking Choya about his pick for this match, and he said that Oz is a very good PvP player, never loses to Protoss, so that's why he picked him to face Puzzle. So he's talking about how a lot of players uh, on the team FXO have lost to MMA in the past, and so they're out for revenge today. Uh, apparently, Jessica says that they expected Lucky to come out first, and so they prepared against him specifically. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she says that they hope that Sela will play against Choya because Sela is very confident in that match. Ace match. <laughs> Ace match coming up, Sela against Choya, that would be so epic. And that will 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 be so 노력할 만큼 노력했으니까 꼭 좋은 성적으로 라스베가스 갈수 있도록 최선을 다하겠습니다. 네. So, uh, he asked about, I'm sorry, she asked about how he felt regarding the fact that if they lose this match, they're out of the team league, and the choice simply said that he would try his best, they would try their best. So there you have it. Some friendly, confident words, though, from both players, so from both coaches, rather. And, um, yeah, so Slayer's talking about how confident they were against Lucky and Choya mentioning how uh, confident he is regarding Oz versus Puzzle. Yeah, it's going to be pretty nice PvP, as I said earlier already. We have both of them in uh, their best matchup. Puzzle has a win ratio of 61%, while we have Oz on 66. And just given the strength of the players that they faced in the past, Oz is definitely... A little bit the favorite player, but still, both of them in one of their strongest matchups, the best actually. So, this is going to be a great PvP, which is going to take yeah. place on Entombed Valley. Yeah, I'm really excited about this match. I do think Oz is definitely the favorite. He has shown extremely good PvP, but he is beatable. Finale managed to beat him in a PvP match. Hero in just League beat before. him in the NASTL, and I think that he also lost to Huck at the MLG Winter Arena. Oh, that's true. With two zero. I think you're right. So. Yep, he's definitely not undefeatable. Uh, we're going to see if he can bring out his top tip-top game, though. 
And, you know, part of the reason why we're a little bit, bit puzzled by the choice is PvP can be a volatile matchup. It can be something where a little bit of bad luck can lose you the game, regardless of how much skill you have. So, uh, but, you know, FXO, they're confident in Oz, and they're definitely going to have the advantage here, I think. It's going to be on a Tomb Valley, which is a pretty good map for not getting unlucky, I suppose. Here they are, Oz and Puzzle. We are heading into the second game of the day. Slay us against FX Open, and Toon Valley will be the next map. And we have a PvP at our hands. Slay us is up with 1 0 after Puzzle defeated Lucky on Daybreak. And it looks as if Oz has not had much success on this map in the past, although I don't think he's played too many games on it. But uh, Puzzle's won. At least two games on a Tomb Valley in the past. We're going to get started, though. We're going to find out if the PvP Master of Oz can take out Puzzle, or will Puzzle take an early 2-0 lead? We're going to find out right now. And here we go. Tombed Valley, and at the bottom left of the map, in the red color, we have our player for FX Open. The second player, it is... FX Open! Open! FX Oz, the PvP specialist, send out to beat the first player for Slayers to beat the Protoss to the top left. In the blue color, we have... Slayers Open! There's Puzzle. And... Uh, and the Slayers team definitely has a Slayers fan. I'm sorry. Oh, I yes. did it again. I heard the Korean announcement in the background and I jumped the gun on that announcement. My apologies. Vogel then with the, uh, with the gateway at 12. And, yeah. I have not casted too many PvPs on this map, but the map is pretty huge. We have a little bit of scouting going on uh, for Puzzle now, while all is completely not stuck, but really just remain to his main base, which will give him a slight lead when he comes down to the minerals if you choose to send out one of your probes, and obviously you already uh, sacrifice a couple of minerals in order to do so. But now, here are some of the statistics, the win rates that we have. Yeah. By the way, uh, in case some of you guys were wondering, I didn't say it before, and I, uh, the uh, we saw that cheerful earlier. The guy was said, "See you at GSTL finals and IPL." Mike, that was actually Mike Morheim, president of Blizzard. He is in the studio today. I got a chance to meet him just a minute ago. He's a very nice guy. 17 against 18 pros right now. We have a second gas for Oz. Now the second gas for Puzzle already a little bit later than his opponent. You can see that the first, second gas for Oz is just now finishing. Well, Slayer's Puzzle just started his. And still the probe getting an idea of what exactly is happening. So he's waiting until the first unit's out. And before that, as a stalker, the probe will probably be able to survive and uh, just uh, go in there. We have Chrono Boosts on the gateway of uh, Puzzle right now. Yep. And yeah, so both these guys doing Pretty similar stuff. We have the second gateway going up for Oz. Only one gateway for Puzzle thus far, but still very similar, similar stuff. We're not going to see any kind of early uh, attacks, any kind of early shenanigans probably. And so we're going to see a at least a mid game here. More than likely, we're going to find out what kind of tech these guys are going to go for. But uh, basically, Puzzle he's just powering up a lot of probes right now. He's gotten wait no, he's not actually. He's actually behind on probes. So. Uh, just powering out a lot of units, chrono boosting out stalkers and sentries off just this one gateway. Transitioning straight into the robotics puzzle. There that we is. go, the robotics, okay. And at the same time, we have also the tech to Twilight Council, so we will uh, most likely uh, see him uh, with a blink. He has two gateways already, is pumping out stalkers now, and Puzzle is trying to get a little bit aggressive. He chrono boosted units in order to get them out earlier. He has one advantage, that is the Zealot, and oh, Oz has to be careful here. He already loses a lot of hit points on the shields. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, he's actually taking some major damage. He might lose that stalker. No, the last couple shots are not wow. within range. Runs right into his opponent's oh, army with another no. stalker. And this is actually horrible for us here. He's losing way too many hit points. Wow, and he's actually being chased. Is he going to get an escape? Oh, no, he kills one stalker. Will he get the other? No, the second stalker survives. So it's just a one-for-one one trade. Although, no, he's got another... Nope, never mind. Zella is not going to get the last hit. Wow, such low hit points on two of those stalkers. And so at the end of it all, we've got four stalkers in play for Oz and only one for Puzzle because he did lose those stalkers that he went in with. And so actually did not. He only lost one of them and he returned with the other one to chase down one of the stalkers of Oz that he was able to save. I don't know exactly how, okay. but apparently uh, Puzzle missed the last shot and retreated with a stalker. But I as see. he went into a, a one gate Robo, he now has the first Immortal on his way. And another couple of inner um, well warp ins now that he is uh, on additional gateways. I don't know how much exactly yeah. he has. I think he's on two right now, building the third one. And at the same time, uh, we have the expansion for Oz, who has to be very careful. He was able to save the Stalker, but he is on very, very low hit points with two of them right now. This yep. will definitely play a huge role in the next engagement. Yes, indeed, especially with the Immortal able to hit those Stalkers for a lot of damage. And this is a good move, I think, by Oz to go for that expansion. He knows he has the advantage. He knows that he can put pressure. He can't break Puzzle. There's no way he could do that with a Sentry on the top, with the Immortal on top of the ramp. But he doesn't have to. He can just take an expansion and win the long game. And he's going to blink ahead of Puzzle. He's going to have the expansion ahead of Puzzle. He's going to be way ahead in a lot of different aspects. Other than... I, other than he doesn't have any Immortals, so this is going to be... A, a yeah. The thing is, if Puzzle is hitting a nice timing and detects those pylons that are around his main base and attacks with the Immortals, that could be a really well, a problem for, for FX Open Oz, definitely. He has also a Sentry in the mix, so he can go for the Guardian Shield. And Oz only has those Blink Stalkers, and he won't be able to... I'm actually not sure if he's trying to attack, but if he blinks up this ramp right oh. into his opponents... Yep, that's something that he can't do. He can't attack into the Immortal. There's only one of them so far, but, well... Oz has to be careful here. Yeah, and uh, I mean, here's the thing though. Puzzle, he looks like he's trying to set up for an expansion of his own, but it's going to be hard for him to do so. He's behind. He's way behind as a result of this early pressure, well, early counter pressure. Puzzle is not going to expand here right away. Oh, he blinks he forward on top of him. The counter blink gets away though. Puzzle will definitely put on some pressure now. He might transition into an expansion update, but he is definitely trying to uh, put the. Uh, their pressure onto his opponent's expansion now and we already have one immortal and that immortal he needs to micro it well but it has to do a lot of damage and we have the guardian shield as well and here we go guardian shield is up and now he can start blink he needs to be careful oh the immortal is trapped very well done by Oz nice trapping the immortal the immortal goes down he blinks forward but all some of his stalkers are in the back still the sentry not doing anything probes have been brought off the line but Oz has a huge advantage here and now he can blink forward and finish off the injured stalkers as they try to retreat. Wow, Oz just, uh, you know, it looked like for a second, GG! It looked for a second like Oz was going to be losing some early stalkers to the pressure of Puzzle, but then Oz made no mistakes and came back for a strong, strong win despite a nice timing by Puzzle to hit when that expansion hadn't quite paid for itself yet, Oz still defended perfectly. Puzzle only had one single Immortal in his mix. He went for the gateway, uh, for the one gateway into robotics, and uh, he only built one single Immortal. And Puzzle did a very good job at just trapping the Immortal with the force fields. So the Stalkers blinked back, tried to escape. The Immortal was in the front, was immediately taken down. And this was the one thing going for him, that he had the advantage in tech. He sacrificed an early economy advantage with an expansion, which is exactly what Oz did, in order to get this robotics out, but he didn't really use it at all. So he only had one Immortal, the Immortal got trapped, got, was taken out immediately. I don't think if the, the Immortal even got one kill. So a little bit weird, and Oz yeah. played that very, very well. After he started his expansion, he, well, there was a little bit of a scary timing where he would have been vulnerable, but he did very well with the force fields and won the yeah. game. And, that, and that's one of the reasons why I said at the beginning of the game that, that this is a map where luck doesn't play into it as much because you, you, you have that second ramp. You, could, you always have a ramp to defend, and so if you play conservatively, the better player, the skilled player, can often win out. So very nicely played by Oz, and that means Slayers 
He's going to have to pick someone to come out to combat him. That is actually the worst case scenario. That is definitely the worst case scenario right now because... Um, uh, sorry. Forget what I just said. All right. Just forget what I just said. All right, I will forget it. <laughs> um, no, no, I mean, it's, um, it's kind of interesting. We... Uh, didn't expect Lucky to lose, and so it was. The tables have been turned, though. Now it's Slayer's turn to send someone out, and we're gonna actually check on a replay of that match real quick. Here's the end of it, and we're gonna get to see how he's actually Oz has about the same amount of stalkers, but he's got the high ground advantage. He's got these sentries, and look at that traps the immortal. The rest of the stalkers have blinked back to safety, but guess what? That means the immortal was in danger. He blinks forward to try and save the immortal, but the t he targets it down anyway. So. And then it just became a numbers game. And uh, the numbers were in favor of Oz. As you can see on the screen there, he's got a few more stalkers right now at the, at the unit counting station, and that's all there was to it. I would have loved to see how the stalker in the beginning actually got away. I don't think we've seen this on screen. We have a second monitor here, which we were kind of focusing on. But the second stalker, I have no idea how the stalker got away. Because Puzzle split his army. He split the Zealot and the Stalker, headed after the two Stalkers into the main base of Oz, and uh, the second one was trying to chase down uh, the Stalker that was already outside of the main base. And in the end, the Stalker joined the rest of, um, of Oz's forces with no kills whatsoever, but only like two or three hit points. So Puzzle kind of missed the Stalker, and that usually plays a really huge role in the early game. If not for this, he could have attacked once again. It was a little bit odd. And also, I'm not 100% sure why he did not use this robotics. He only built one single immortal, and that was definitely not worth it. And also getting completely force fielded out was well played by us. Decent force fields. And now the pressure is on Slayers. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking Ryong would be a good choice here. Oh, personally. Jessica is playing. Oh, are they going to go <laughs> with MMA right off the bat? No, they're going to pass the torch to Koka. They're going to send out a Zerg player. Uh, I think he said he's sorry. Yeah, the sign said he's sorry and he's going to try his best. Um, that apology being for the fact that Coca was involved in a bit of a scandal and he actually got kicked out of the GSL because of um, some minor griefing that was occurred. Beyond actually, I shouldn't say minor. I don't want to qualify it because people have different opinions on it. But he was kicked out and now he's back in, able to play again, and he's going to try and make the best of it. Bian did the same when he appeared in uh, his matches recently in the GSL and was really nice and uh, Koga very humble about it. So we have a ZVP on Antigua Shipyard. Yeah. Uh, I guess I should explain further. There was another tournament where Bian and Koka were playing in the finals for a spot in Code A and Bian was Code B and Koka was already Code S. And so it meant nothing for Koka to win but it went, meant a lot for Bian to win and so, well, Koka let him win, and uh, that is not very sportsmanlike at all, and so he was kicked out of Kodas as a result for doing that. But he is back. <laughs> but Koka has, I have him with a 83 win percentage against Protoss with 20 wins oh, wow. and 4 losses. Very strong. Very strong indeed. And uh, yeah, I mean, Oz is pretty good against Zerg as well. He won against Oz. In uh, the GSL November in uh, Code S, he took down Oz with 1-0. Lost to him at the Arena of Legends, so I believe they are at 1-1 now. Nice. And I haven't seen, well, we haven't seen uh, Koga play in ages. Last no. game, uh, the last appearance that he made was in November, if I'm not mistaken. So, there they are, Tiga Shipyard, and... A lot of fans have been anticipating Koka. They really wanted him to play. They were so excited about it when they heard that he was at the studio. And it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to fare against Oz, the player that he beat in the past. Yeah, and I mean, uh, that's you're right. We haven't seen him in a long time. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Koka plays today. Because in the past, yeah, he's got, uh, in Korean games, 60-plus percent win rate against Protoss. But does he still have it? We're going to find out right now, the GSTL. Thank <laughs> you.